Okay, so this is the final look of the hair. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tiana Lene. If you're new here, my tea loves, I love you guys so much. By the title of this video, I will be dyeing my clip-ins jet black as well as my natural hair as a 1B color. And the products that I will be using is Adore in jet black and also the Clara in 1B. So I will be using the Ghostly Care clip-ins. They are eight pieces, 24 inches. I'm showing you guys the two sets of two clip-ins the three sets of three clip-ins front and back and there are seamless body wave and I love these because they're so versatile then I also have one set of four clip-ins and lastly I have two sets of one clip-ins so this is my workspace of course I am not any way should perform a beautician and I don't want to get any hair dye anywhere so just make sure that you use a lot of store bags or newspapers to make sure your workspace is covered so i'm going to start coating my hair at the top and i am going to be using a hairbrush hair dye brush to go ahead and just make sure that i can get it placed efficiently through the hair so i am adding piece by piece to make sure that each hair is getting coated properly so as you see right now i am just adding piece by piece and just go ahead and doing the, the job y'all just adding the hair dye if you're just using one color, of course, put the hair dye everywhere on the hair. And this is just another angle of me doing my hair. Um, I'm just coating it. I'm getting closer to the bottom. Because like I said, I wanted to make sure that it's jet black, okay? When I say I want jet black hair, I want it to be jet black. Like, jet black baby. So as you can see, I'm still kind of missing some color. So I do have to flip it to make sure I get it evenly spread through the hair. Next, I'm just taking my hands and I'm just going to go ahead and just rub the dye in the hair. I think this just helps a lot better too instead of just using a brush as well. So I just have to make sure you have gloves on too, okay? So this is what the final product is looking like. It's completely, I used the, the whole bottle y'all. So yeah, I'm going to have, have me some jet black hair of course. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started on my natural hair. So with my natural hair, I'm just combing through the nooks and, you know, the crannies, whatever. And I haven't washed my hair in a few days, so it's kind of like tangled up. So I am going to part my hair in four sections because it's easier this way when you're applying the hair dye. It makes it better and efficient. So of course with hair dyes, you do have step-by-step -step applicators that you have to apply. So that's what I'm doing here. Make sure you read the box. And also if you are not used to getting your, dyeing your hair yourself, make sure you do a patch test because you don't want any type of allergic reactions as well. Um, I'm used to this hair, this hair dye that I have because I use it all the time. But just for safety reasons, please do a patch test. Let the dyeing begin. So I am actually in here just go ahead and start from the back first and work your way up to the top i think this method works better um i feel like you you, you spent more more of your product on the back versus the front but i feel like after you put everything together your whole hair is going to be dyed black so i think just start at the back first because you want all of your color to be in the back and then you know work your way up to the front Okay, y'all, so this is my whole head dyed. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to dye your hair by this time, so I just didn't want to show all of the boring process, but I am taking my hair and I'm pulling it up into a bun, and I don't have a shower cap, so I'm taking a store bag to go ahead and place on my head to trap the heat so that the color can process faster. I am going to be using these shampoos to wash the clip-ins and then also want to use this conditioner that came with the hair dye and then these are the shampoo and conditioners I'm using for my hair. Clearly, it's the next day guys and I decided not to do the last part of this video, not voiceover. I kind of want to speak to you guys and show you like what I normally do to get my hair flat iron and then also to add my clip-ins because a lot of you have been asking me can you do a video on how you place your clip-ins so that's what i'm gonna do for you guys so 
First things first, I wanna show you guys what the clippings are looking like from yesterday when I washed them. So this is what they're looking like. Um, I'm pretty sure this lighting doesn't do any justice, but they're black guys, like they're black and they're silky too. So um, yeah, I love that for me. So I'm super excited to put these in later. Okay y'all, so first thing I'm gonna do is, um, I didn't, I didn't blow dry my hair yet, so this is what it's looking like from yesterday. I just let it air dry, but I left it like in the top bun. So I am gonna go ahead and like comb out my hair again. It has not been combed since I washed it last night. Ooh, it's a mess. But I like how I still have like my curl pattern. I like that. That's another thing too. Like when I dye my hair, I be scared that like I'm gonna lose like my curl pattern that I do have. Gonna come through it. Y'all, please don't be like me. But after you don't wash your hair, please comb it out. <laughs> Cause I don't do that. Which is why it's like this. Like B F F. B for real. Like it's gonna be so much easier. When you comb before you put it in a bun. Okay, y'all, so I look crazy right now, but what I did was I put my hair in four, four sections. Um, so that way it's easy for me to blow dry and also flat iron. So as you can see, it's not the best, of course, but I just have it in four sections. That's gonna be easier for me. And then after that, I usually do this when my hair is wet. I, like, I go ahead and add like some, um, the rosemary, my, the Miel rosemary oil. But I have very fine hair, so like when there's like a lot of oil in my hair, it weighs down my hair. So I don't put too much in my hair because I don't want it to be weighed down. But I just do enough where it's like, okay, I know I need some oil in my hair. So I just take it around my perimeter of my head and then like the middle. I think I might be doing a side part. I think I'm gonna do a side part, y'all. But I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten it right now. And then I'm gonna do the side part. So first things first, we're gonna start off with blow drying my hair. So I'm using this uh, Infinity Pro by Conair. And then I'm gonna take a, um, a paddle brush and just Go to town, go to pound town. <laughs> pound town, wait, pound town. Okay, so let me comb it again. And this is what came out of my hair from combing it out. Now y'all, I know, once I fall out my hair, I know I need my ends clip, but I'm going to the, the hairstylist next weekend. So that's why I'm not worried about cutting my, trimming my ends, but they will be trimmed, believe me. And I ain't gonna tell you again, let's get ghosts in the phantom. You could bring your friend, we can make this a tandem. Or you could come by yourself and you can stand them. Best believe I sweat out weeds, give afro puffs like R A G E. How you get if you could move it, back it on up like a U Haul truck. Then run and tell them ducks you heard Hobie news. Y'all, so my hair is bought out. To the best of my ability. Hold on, of course. And I know I'll be my ends clip, y'all. Please do not judge. Definitely my ends clip. But y'all, y'all see? Like, y'all see this? Y'all see this? So next I'm gonna take my Platinum Baby Plus Pro. Oh wait, Baby. Yeah, Baby. This pro platinum 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 um flat irons and I'm going to just flat iron my hair and I'm gonna use this comb to chase to the chase method. Cause the proof is back. Just go through my rap. New York, New York. Yeah, with my troop 
rappers at? Where my hustlers? Where my boosters at? I don't care what you do for stacks. I know the world glued your back to the wall. You got a brawl through that. I've been through that. Been shot at. Shoot back. Gotta keep a peace like a boot ass. I ain't a new jack. Nobody gon' Wesley snipe me. It's less than like me. Move back. Let I breathe. Chat out night. The more space I get. to do a deep part so this is something new for me so it's still gonna be the same concept of how i'll put my clippings in but i might struggle a little bit trying to figure out how to style it with the clippings so as you guys know the clippings are a set of eight and they come with three three clippings like i mean yeah if y'all watch the video earlier you know what it comes with um so first things first i when i do my hair y'all I'm, I'm just gonna let me show you a better angle. So how I'll start off is, is that I'm gonna part it, and I kind of like start closer to the bottom. And I take the the middle tail of the comb, and I'm just gonna like your parts don't have to be perfect, but it it kind of does matter just in case like you don't want your hair to be like everywhere. But my parts not gonna be, my parts are not gonna be perfect. And just clip my hair up to get out the way. So you can see like this is what I'm working with, just a little bit of hair. And I always start with the three piece set first because since, I don't know, it kind of works better that way for me. So I always do the three piece, so I'll just take the clip. And by the way, they're still kind of like in a curly state, so I'm gonna flat iron once I'm done with them, this entirety. So I'm gonna take the clip in here and I'm just gonna whip it around. I see a lot of people tease it, but my roots are still kind of like thick. So I'm not gonna do that. And you just wanna clip on the end and then clip in the middle. This is how I do it. So make sure you have it flat. And then do it to your, your liking. I'm gonna show you guys, hold on one second. Cause I kinda like feel it first to see where it's at, like what it's doing. Okay. So this is what it's looking like for me. You can see. And y'all see how my clippings are like, like it's kind of like long and I'm gonna trim it. Cause when I first got these installed, my stylist, he put them in and then I saw them cut and they were just cut in different like lengths. So yeah, this is the first clipping, the three piece. And then we're gonna continue to bring the hair down. And then we're gonna take the rat tail comb again and do the same thing. And then you also just kind of like want to do two fingers apart. So right here, so I know it's going to be like somewhere right here. So just take the rat tail comb, the middle part. And just go all the way around. Clip the hair again. This one's gonna lift me, so I need to fix that. I think a lot of times people tease it too, so that way it's like on the teasing of the hair. So I'm taking the next three piece clip. Let's see, next three piece clip.
I'm gonna show you guys just the three sets of clip ins. This is what my hair is looking like. I have the three sets of clip ins in. This is like the fullness I just get in. My hair is so fine, it's not catching on to the, uh, the hair. There we go. So this is the three sets of clip ins right now. So next, I'm going to add the fourth, the one and only fourth, one, four clip clip in. So I'm gonna add that on right now. Let me lower you guys so you can see it. So I'm about to sit down. So, I'm gonna take some of this here and pull it back. And I always push my hair back to get an idea like what's this looking like. But as you can see, like this looking like, you know, like that. So I'm just gonna take my comb again, and I'm kind of like measure the you know, ones that. So I'm gonna put it up here. So And like I said, y'all, y'all cars do not be perfect, but trust me. Like, as long as it's laying flat, that's all that matters. Okay, so I'm gonna take that one here. So we'll take the clip in, the fourth one, right? This is the fourth one, y'all. The four clips. I'm gonna take it, because it's a little bit longer. So I'm gonna just start. Okay, so the fourth one is in. The fourth clip in is in. Okay, so now I'm gonna put all my hair down. This one feels kind of weird. Now my face is so oily, like I'm not. Oof, okay. This one kind of feels like, this one is still a little like it hasn't touched on to like me here. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay. All right, so I feel like I'm good right there, so. Mind you, I'm doing the deep part. I'm doing the deep part. So, with the deep part, so the deep part, I think I'm gonna add the clippings coming forward because I want it to get like a bang look. So, now I'm gonna use the two sets of two clippings right here. And I'm just gonna part it. There's my red token. I'm gonna part it. Yeah, I need my ends clip. This makes no sense. I'm gonna part it like this. I'm gonna clip it. Yeah, this is my first time like doing a quick like this. So it's fake. This is like rid of me. But when I wear my middle part, it's like I go fast. Like I gotta put the clippings fast. Just like when you start putting those little different uh obstacles and it gets like a little harder. So that's what it's get this is what it's looking like right now. So I'm gonna put I wonder if I'm going to 
I'm gonna show this on this side. No, I just want the bang to be banging. So I'm gonna do the other one. Cause I want it to be full. And I be cut, cut my clippings anyway. So this was not laying flat. <laughs> I'm gonna take the other two pieces. Okay. Now the one pieces, I may put the one pieces over here. So the ones with the one pieces, this one just popped off. So I mean, I guess it is good to tease your hair, but sometimes I don't, I don't do that at all. I don't tease my hair. I just put these same in. Okay. So this is what we're looking like right now, y'all. So y'all can see. This is what I'm looking like, and I gotta get this together. Right here. Okay, so this is giving. And then for the one pieces, now mind you, y'all don't have to put all these in your head, okay? Like, you if you want the fullness, put all of them in there. If you don't want the fullness, don't put all of them in there. But, um,. I think I'm gonna put Actually, I don't think I'm putting out here. I'm not gonna put these two in. I'm gonna leave them out. I'm gonna leave these two out. I'm not putting these in. But like if say for instance if you was doing like a ponytail and you wanted some like bangs, you can do that with these. Or like you put these kind of like close together to make like two tracks like that. But yeah, I don't think I need it. Because I want this kind of be like natural looking. So yeah, so this is what we're looking like and I'm about to flat iron it and get it together. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with styling the hair. Uh, since the hair is so long, I'm gonna stand up and style it. But um, let's go ahead and put it into sections. So if you don't know me by now, I have to do my hair in sections, like it's just more easier for me. And it gets it gets the job done quicker. Now this video will be up before my pre-birthday celebration vlog. So when y'all see this video, after y'all see this video, y'all need to watch the pre-celebration vlog. Cause I have a special guest that's in town. I want you guys to watch it. And then also, it's gonna be lit, lit, lit. Look, and I wait to wash my face. Okay, so we're just doing it straight for right now because, like I said, it might dust the ends on these clip ins. So we're just gonna do it. Going straight. It's kind of like the same concept when I do my real hair. Well, this, well, my real hair is in here, but it's kind of like. Okay. Oh, for those who want to know, I do have my settings on 450. And I don't use heat protection. Sometimes I do use heat protection. And when I do, I use the Bob Mitchell. But sometimes when I put heat protection in my hair, it weighs on my hair sometimes too. So that's why I try not to say, try not to use too much heat protectant. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the same thing as I did with my real hair. Just use the chase method and just flat iron. Get it straight. Well, you could come by yourself and you can stand them. Best believe I sweat out weaves, give Afro puffs like R A G E. How you get a view 
could move it. Back it on up like a U-Haul truck. Then run and tell him ducks. You heard Hovey new shit. He and the boy for real make beautiful music. He is to the East Coast with Snoopers. To the West Coast with faces to Houston. Young Hovey in the house is so necessary. No bra with that blouse is so necessary. No panties and jeans that's so necessary. And why you front on me? Is that necessary? Do I? To you look like a lame who to understand a bra with a mean shoe game? Who's up on that? What you want me to do? Change clothes. It was a process. It's, it's going on 10 30. And I'm like trying to figure out. So, this is a side part. So, I have some shears that I might just like fix the ends a little bit because I'm not liking how they're looking. And I still have to like put some product on my hair. Um, it might be, I might come back tomorrow. To show y'all because I don't want I'm about to go to sleep and I don't want to put any product on my hair. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um sleep on this. I'm gonna come back tomorrow with a finished look for y'all. But this is the hair flat iron. Um let me see. Let me see, because I think I'm gonna cut the ends, y'all, but I really do. But I probably do that tomorrow when I style it and do everything. But this is what it is. You're not supposed to stick with your clippings, but I have a busy day tomorrow and I'm just gonna sleep with these on. But yeah, I kinda like it and then yeah, I'll get back with y'all in the morning. This is the final look of the hair. So if you guys can see, this is it. I'm wearing the Ghost Leak seamless, seamless body wave clippings in the 24 inch. And I have it like in the side part and I dyed it jet black, so I think it's like it's really giving. Like I like it. It's it's cute. It's cute. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next vlog.